Passion Travel is a channel specializing in all things travel street food and subscribe. Peas and Rice A traditional Bahamian dish made with pigeon peas and rice cooked with spices and sometimes coconut milk. Peas and rice is a classic Bahamian dish that's both flavorful and satisfying. It's a staple in Bahamian cuisine and often served as a side dish to complement various main courses, especially seafood dishes. Here's how to make Bahamian peas and rice. Ingredients 2 cups long grain white rice 1 cup pigeon peas or black-eyed peas, canned or soaked and cooked 1 small onion, finely chopped 1 bell pepper, finely chopped 2 cloves garlic, minced 1 quarter cup diced tomatoes, canned or fresh 2 cups chicken or vegetable broth 1 cup coconut milk 2 tablespoons vegetable oil or butter 1 teaspoon thyme leaves, fresh or dried 1 teaspoon paprika salt and black pepper, to taste. Scotch bonnet pepper or hot sauce, optional, for heat. Instructions. Prepare the rice. Rinse the rice in cold water until the water runs clear. Drain and set aside. Saute aromatics. In a large, heavy-bottomed pot, heat the vegetable oil or melt the butter over medium heat. Add the chopped onion, bell pepper, and garlic. Saute until they become soft and fragrant, about 3 to 4 minutes. Add tomatoes and spices. Stir in the diced tomatoes, thyme leaves, paprika, salt, and black pepper. Cook for another 2 minutes to blend the flavors. Add rice and peas. Add the rinsed rice and drained pigeon peas, or black-eyed peas, to the pot. Stir to combine them with the sautéed vegetables. Add liquids. Pour in the chicken or vegetable broth and coconut milk. If you like your peas and rice with some heat, you can add a scotch bonnet pepper, whole, for mild heat, or a few drops of hot sauce at this stage. Simmer and cook. Bring the mixture to a boil, then reduce the heat to low and cover the pot with a tight-fitting lid. Let it simmer for about 20 to 25 minutes, or until the rice is tender and has absorbed the liquids. Avoid lifting the lid while the rice is cooking to ensure even cooking. Fluff and serve. Once the rice is cooked, remove the pot from heat and let it sit, covered, for a few minutes. This allows the rice to steam and become fluffier. Use a fork to fluff the peas and rice ensuring that the grains are well mixed. Serve hot. Serve Bahamian peas and rice hot as a delicious side dish to accompany your main course, especially seafood dishes. Bahamian peas and rice are known for their rich flavor, thanks to the combination of coconut milk and aromatic spices. They add a delightful Caribbean touch to your meal and are a must-try when exploring Bahamian cuisine. Fried fish. Freshly caught fish, battered and fried to perfection, often served in a sandwich or as a main dish. Fried fish is a beloved and popular dish in many cuisines, including Bahamian cuisine. It's a simple yet delicious way to enjoy fresh seafood. Here's a basic recipe for Bahamian-style fried fish. Ingredients. Fresh fish fillets, snapper, grouper, or other local fish varieties. All-purpose flour, for dredging. Salt and black pepper, to taste. Cooking oil, vegetable or canola oil, for frying. Lime or lemon wedges, for serving. Optional. Hot sauce or tartar sauce, for dipping. Instructions. Prepare the fish. Rinse the fish fillets under cold water and pat them dry with paper towels. This helps remove excess moisture and ensures crispy frying. Season the fish. Season the fish fillets generously with salt and black pepper. You can also add other seasonings like garlic powder or paprika if you prefer. Dredge in flour. In a shallow dish, place a layer of all-purpose flour. Dredge each fish fillet in the flour, coating both sides evenly. Shake off any excess flour. Heat the oil. In a deep skillet or frying pan, heat enough cooking oil to submerge the fish fillets. The oil should be heated to about 350 degrees Fahrenheit, 175 degrees Celsius, for frying. Fry the fish. Carefully place the floured fish fillets into the hot oil. Fry them for about 3 to 4 minutes on each side, or until they are golden brown and crispy. The cooking time may vary depending on the thickness of the fillets. Drain and serve. Use a slotted spoon or spatula to remove the fried fish from the oil and place them on a plate lined with paper towels. This helps drain any excess oil. Serve hot. Serve the Bahamian-style fried fish hot with lime or lemon wedges for squeezing over the fish. You can also offer hot sauce or tartar sauce as condiments for dipping, if desired. Side dishes. 
Fried fish is often served with traditional Bahamian side dishes like peas and rice, coleslaw, or johnny cake to create a satisfying and complete meal. Bahamian-style fried fish is known for its crispy, golden exterior and tender, flavorful interior. It's a classic dish that captures the essence of the Bahamas coastal cuisine and is enjoyed by locals and visitors alike. Guava Duff A sweet dessert made with guava and served with a warm buttery sauce. Guava Duff is a delightful Bahamian dessert known for its sweet and fruity flavors. It's a steamed or boiled pudding made with guava fruit and often served with a warm buttery sauce. Here's how to make Bahamian Guava Duff. Ingredients For the guava filling 2 cups guava pulp fresh or canned. 1 cup granulated sugar. 1 half cup water. 1 teaspoon vanilla extract. 1 quarter teaspoon grated nutmeg, optional. For the duff. 2 cups all-purpose flour. 1 quarter cup granulated sugar. 2 teaspoons baking powder. 1 half teaspoon salt. 4 tablespoons unsalted butter, cold and cubed. 2 thirds cup milk. For the butter sauce. 1 half cup unsalted butter. 1 cup granulated sugar. 1 half cup heavy cream. 1 teaspoon vanilla extract. Instructions. Prepare the guava filling. In a saucepan, combine the guava pulp, granulated sugar, water, vanilla extract, and grated nutmeg, if using. Bring the mixture to a simmer over medium heat. Cook the guava mixture, stirring occasionally, until it thickens into a jam-like consistency. This can take around 15 to 20 minutes. Once thickened, remove it from the heat and let it cool. Prepare the duff. In a large mixing bowl, combine the all-purpose flour, granulated sugar, baking powder, and salt. Add the cold, cubed butter to the dry ingredients. Use your fingers or a pastry cutter to work the butter into the flour mixture until it resembles coarse crumbs. Gradually add the milk to the mixture, stirring until it forms a soft dough. You may not need all the milk, so add it slowly until the dough comes together. On a floured surface, Roll out the dough into a large rectangle, approximately one quarter inch thick. Spread the cooled guava filling evenly over the dough, leaving a small border around the edges. Roll up the dough, jelly roll style, starting from the long side. Pinch the seam to seal the roll. Wrap the guava filled dough in a clean kitchen towel or parchment paper, twisting the ends to secure it. Steam the guava duff. Fill a large pot with water and place a steamer basket inside. Bring the water to a simmer. Carefully place the wrapped guava duff in the steamer basket and cover it with a lid. Steam the guava duff for about 1 to 1.5 hours, or until it is firm and cooked through. Souse. A soup made with pickled meats, often chicken, pork, or mutton, and various vegetables, typically served as a hangover cure. Souse is a traditional Bahamian dish that's often enjoyed as a refreshing and flavorful soup or salad. It's typically served cold and is known for its tangy and spicy flavors. There are various versions of sauce, including chicken sauce and pig's feet sauce. Here, I'll provide a recipe for Bahamian chicken sauce. Ingredients For the chicken sauce, 2 to 3 pounds chicken parts, chicken wings or drumsticks are commonly used. 1 large onion, thinly sliced. 1 bell pepper, thinly sliced. 1 to 2 scotch bonnet peppers, thinly sliced adjust to your desired level of heat. 3 to 4 cloves garlic, minced. 1 teaspoon salt, or to taste. 1 half teaspoon black pepper. 1 half teaspoon dried thyme, or a few sprigs of fresh thyme. 1 half teaspoon paprika. 1 quarter cup fresh lime or lemon juice. 2 to 3 cups water. Ice cubes, for serving. For garnish. Sliced cucumbers. Sliced tomatoes. Sliced onions. Lime or lemon wedges. Fresh cilantro or parsley, optional. Instructions. Prepare the chicken. Wash the chicken parts thoroughly and place them in a large pot. Add seasonings. Add the sliced onion, bell pepper, scotch bonnet peppers, minced garlic, salt, black pepper, dried thyme, and paprika to the pot with the chicken. Marinate. Pour the fresh lime or lemon juice over the chicken and seasonings. Use your hands to rub the seasonings into the chicken pieces. Boil. Add enough water to the pot to cover the chicken. Place the pot on the stove over medium-high heat and bring it to a boil. Simmer. Once it comes to a boil, reduce the heat to low, cover the pot, and let it simmer for about 45 minutes to 1 hour, or until the chicken is fully cooked and tender. Chill. Remove the pot from the heat and let the chicken souse cool to room temperature. Refrigerate. 
transfer the chicken sauce to the refrigerator and let it chill for several hours or overnight. Chilling allows the flavors to meld. Serve. To serve, ladle the chilled chicken sauce into bowls. You can add ice cubes to each bowl to keep it cold. Garnish. Garnish each bowl with slices of cucumber, tomato, and onion. You can also add fresh cilantro or parsley for extra flavor and color. Duff. A sweet, dense dessert made with fruit, often guava, and rolled in coconut. It's similar to a fruit roll. In Bahamian cuisine, duff typically refers to a sweet dessert, particularly a boiled or steamed pudding that is enjoyed as a treat. Duff can be made in various flavors, with some of the most common being pineapple duff, guava duff, and coconut duff. Here's a basic recipe for Bahamian sweet duff. Ingredients. For the duff, 2 cups all-purpose flour. 1 cup granulated sugar. 2 teaspoons baking powder. 1 quarter teaspoon salt. 4 tablespoons unsalted butter, cold and cubed. 2 thirds cup milk. 1 teaspoon vanilla extract. 1 half cup of your choice of fruit, e.g., pineapple chunks, guava, or grated coconut. For the sauce, 1 cup granulated sugar. 1 cup water. 1 quarter cup unsalted butter. 1 teaspoon vanilla extract. Instructions. Prepare the duff. In a large mixing bowl, combine the all-purpose flour, granulated sugar, baking powder, and salt. Add the cold, cubed butter to the dry ingredients. Use your fingers or a pastry cutter to work the butter into the flour mixture until it resembles coarse crumbs. Gradually add the milk and vanilla extract to the mixture, stirring until it forms a soft dough. You may not need all the milk, so add it slowly until the dough comes together. Fold in your choice of fruit, whether it's pineapple chunks, guava, or grated coconut. Shape and steam the duff. On a floured surface, shape the duff dough into a large, rectangular log. Place the log on a piece of parchment paper and wrap it tightly. In a large pot, bring water to a boil. Place a steamer rack or colander inside the pot. Carefully place the wrapped duff log into the steamer rack or colander ensuring that it doesn't touch the boiling water. Cover the pot with a tight-fitting lid and steam the duff for about 2 to 2.5 hours, checking occasionally to ensure there's enough water in the pot. Add more boiling water as needed. Prepare the sauce. In a saucepan, combine the granulated sugar, water, unsalted butter, and vanilla extract. Heat the sauce mixture over medium heat, stirring until the sugar dissolves and the mixture comes to a simmer. Simmer the sauce for about 5 minutes, or until it thickens slightly. Remove it from the heat and let it cool.